Hey guys, Brennan V101 here. Um, got the almighty sea change for us, or more commonly known as Blair, over. Um, we're just ripping apart some GX120s, some Hondas. Yeah. <coughs> Alrighty, so we've pulled apart uh, both of them now, stripped this one to the bare block, so. Yep, you can see nothing in there apart from the oil sensor, a low oil sensor. Um, we've got the crank of the piston and all that sort of stuff. Then we've stripped apart another one. Um, basically what we're trying to do is just make one good one out of two because the both of them were sort of just in parts. So yeah, strip back both of them. Um, we're just in the uh, middle of stripping back this one. This one has a governor, so we're probably going to use that governor uh, for the other one. Yeah, I think we're missing the, uh, the assembly there, though. So I, think I might just remove the governor. Yeah, it's wicked without a governor anyway. Get the rabbit pie. Yeah, so we've got a whole box of parts, carbs, cams. I'm bringing that home on the train. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's going back on the train, so that's going to be interesting. Got, so we've got like two of everything pretty much, we've got two flywheels, two blocks, um, we've only got one head, a fuel tank, you know, the flywheel, um, air fan thingy blades, covers, um, yeah, lots of clutches and a couple of carbs and lifters, and overhead cam covers and overhead valve covers, sorry. Yeah, yeah. bring all of it back and... Um got a new project sort of coming along. I don't have any transport because my uh, my um, 75cc bike broke down because I was, yeah, I told you about it anyway. And so I thought I'd make something a bit more reliable. So hopefully the Honda will you know, do a bit better than that. So. Yeah, so this is going to go on a bike. Not this exact one, but um, it'll be built up out of two. So it'll be like a Franken Honda. Ooh, that sounds nice. Oh, I think it's the flywheel. Yeah, the flywheel's rubbing on them. Something. Shit metal, maybe. I don't know. Twist of fate. I came out with no feet, with no shoes again. <laughs> can, in a, in a dirty shed. This probably has, like, metal shavings from the drill press. <clears throat> God. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit messy in here. But... You get that. That's what happens when you uh, when you don't really go in the shed anymore. So I haven't really been making any videos, guys. So I thought you guys like the small engine stuff. I've sort of got out of the small engine stuff now, um, more into like the cars and that sort of thing. Just you know, these these are all right when you're younger, but you know, check out the size of my hand and look at the engine. You try to work in this sort of thing and. You know, the crankcase is a bit too small, yeah, it's just fucking annoying to work on, so... I've sort of stopped working on these things, because they just annoy me too much. I'd rather, you know, something I could fit my whole hand inside the crankcase easily and undo bolts and all that sort of thing. I woke up this morning, and I was like, nah, stop working on this thing. Cause I, so I looked online and checked how much one of these would cost me. 500 bucks. <laughs> so, get working on it, I guess. <laughs> we'll try and make a good one, because it's a bit expensive for a new one. Uh, it's so annoying working on this. Ah, yeah. yeah. Should we show them the head? Yeah. That's a bit of a bodge job. We didn't do it, honest. Yeah, we. We got these engines off um, Carl Man a while ago. So we found out what did he do? Um, pulled a few parts off it, and then yeah, thought he would go clean off all the carbon. So we grant he used like a grinder with a just a grinding disc on it you know and on the valve on the valve so well, I'm gonna have to order a new t two new valves and um, new valve lifters and lifter. spring and retainer yes and uh, the nuts are, the double, yep, the double the retaining nuts. the retaining nuts on the top yeah and we're just we're just cleaning it and at the moment just got uh, oops sorry about that got yeah. some oven cleaner on there um, with limited success I think it's not really working out well. It's alright I guess. Yeah. Well, we will keep working and uh, strip them all back and then 
try to make a good one out of two. So, alrighty guys, keep you posted, and uh, yeah, stay tuned.